you want to start our day with some old-fashioned cord cutting Today's one of those days where it's a beautiful day. And it's the last time this year that they're gonna do this, uh, this pickup. So the theory is that everyone in town is gonna put their stuff in the curb because this is their last opportunity to do it. Oh. Thank God the guy's coming home right now. He looks like Harry Dean Stanton. He's staring at me. Anyway, all the heavy hitters are out today. So my suspicion is we ain't gonna find nothing, but we're gonna have fun finding it. So stay tuned and welcome to Trash Picking. I've been told there's a motorized bicycle here. So let's see what we got. actually pretty shocked so is this fork <laughs> get it no nothing usually guys make these motorized bicycles out of just like the cheapest piece of junk bike you can find but he used a bona fide Gary Fisher on this one too bad it's a hunk of junk now hmm let's see that's five pounds What's five pounds times 10 cents a pound? 50 cents. Oh, here's what we can do. My friend gave me one of these pool pumps yesterday. We've got to re-gift it. Here, we'll re-gift it. That weighs five pounds, right? Let's see. Plastic duckies with metal. Oh, I guess it's metal. Feels plastic giant rope I suspect these people had a big dog oh, another dollar 60 worth of dumbbells and now my hand is filthy and gross all right so where's the other five pound dumbbell they usually come in pairs nothing and last but not least is this vacuum cleaner cord. I'm trying to make something out of this pile because it's really a horrible pile, but we came here for the motorized bike and we stayed for the dumbbells and the vacuum cleaner cord and the re-gifting. What's this thing? Industrial air filter, okay. A broken Tiffany lamp. It's a good looking shop vac. Free working treadmill. Wow. That is the world's oldest treadmill. It's a nice photo though, huh? I wasn't gonna stop at this pile. Then I saw these two little brake drums hiding I don't really like the piles where you have to kind of walk up the people's driveway to get in it you know well, let's see that's empty oh that's great Hmm. Look, magnetic socket racks by Lyle? Wow. Lyle is a good brand. Huh. I'm so glad I stopped. Thank you. Thank you, brake drums. See what else these people have. Uh, 
an aluminum rod, some license plates. A Jegs sticker. Huh. Alright. Beer thing? No, we don't want that. Some scrap metal. No, we don't want that. Alright. I guess we're satisfied with what we got. And I'm a little nervous going to that guy's driveway, so. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. Where's the rest of your barbecue, lady? Ugh. How high does the scale go up? You wanna see how fat I am today? Let's see. Wow, I'm a fat tub. My advice to you is don't ever weigh 290 pounds. Then again, if you used to weigh 310 pounds, you're all excited because you're like, oh my God, I lost 20 pounds. This is so awesome. This street is a whole dead end situation that I don't really like because it's kind of hard to turn around sometimes, but these people are throwing away some car parts. Oh, by the way, you can't go down any dead-end street anywhere without another person driving past you. <laughs> Doesn't that suck? All right. Here's your control arm. So these people built like a leaning tower of Pisa on top of their scrap metal. Look at this. Brass toilet thingy. You don't see those a lot. And some metal tidbittery. I don't want the plastic piece though. Let's see, half a chainsaw. Don't think we need that. What's that? A clock? Nope. What's in here? Oh, look at this. It's one of those things where you... It's a small one, too. Think this will work? Think it'll do this? Kind of does. Kind of works. Can you see that? Wow, excellent. Makes a great sound too. Now everybody, have you heard? If you end the game, then the stroke's the word. Here comes another car. Oh no, it's the same one coming back. They're coming back to kill us. Wow, look at this. Rack and pinion. What's this? I don't know what that is. Come on through. Wow. What the hell? Why is everyone driving up and down this street all of a sudden? Let's see, we got your clutch pressure plate and more brake rotors. And 
there's your clutch disc. What else do these people have? In this pile that just keeps on giving. Let's see, here's your dryer motor. Oh my God, another car coming by. This one's flying too. The lady was giving me a nasty look while she put her earring in her ear. I guess that's how it goes though. Like if you live on a little dead end street and there's some interloper interloping, you get mad. I don't though. My God, you should have seen the last night on my street. Must have been 50 cars going back and forth. Neighbors' kids were having a party. It was like super loud. Luckily, once I go inside the house, it's not loud anymore, but I was outside in the driveway doing scrap metal stuff. You could just hear them down the street. Partying away. Oh, Jesus. That's what you don't want to happen. That's when people start getting mad. You know, if you're gonna go through the pile, don't make a mess. I hear you, lady. Wow, she's probably a pretty lady, too. She's got eyebrow, an eyelash thingy. All right, what else can we get out of here before we get out of here? Anything in your fishing box? Nah, I don't think so. Do you want the little red wagon? No. What about this, though? Eh, it's all busted. Oh my god, another truck? Come on through, you got it, buddy. You got it. Don't run me over. Let me get out of your way. Oh, that's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. I feel like that guy might be an interloper, too. All right, uh, let's get the hell out of here. That was an awesome pile, but at the same time, what, what a traffic jam. Jeez, I'm crow. All right. First, we found a metal detector. You want to see if it works? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, we've got a hit already. You want to keep this thing? I don't know. I have a friend who will like that if I see him. Well, what do you know? The metal detector, it really works. That's a fun thing. It's got copper, brass, iron, 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 brass, and iron, and steel. <sighs> what else do we have here? I don't know, I guess we'll take it. That's basically just tin. My friend gave me like a whole lesson about rugs. I think that might be a good rug. I would say on this rug, condition is suspect. But uh, we'll leave it in the trunk with the scrap for now. Maybe we can clean it up at home with a hose. All right, here you go, a Richards Wilcox. What is that? I don't know. It's a thing. What do people do when they want dinner? They go out for a walk. Is that racist? I don't think it is. hell is that? I think that's for like 
ice climbing. I'm gonna go ice climbing. It's gonna be winter soon. Oh wow. More ice climbing spikes. No, you, you know what these are for? They're for climbing telephone poles. Wow. I keep. I don't want this motor. That housing is junk. This is just tin. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm getting to the point where I'm not picky enough about the metal I take. I'm gonna start getting pickier. All right, where's the magnet? It doesn't stick. So I guess that one doesn't stick neither. All right, I think there's one more telephone pole climber thing here. So we can do that. in this garbage bag. Uh, well. Don't you hate it when the garbage bag is full, full of actual garbage? That's not what we're looking for out here. I don't want your garbage, lady. Oh, God! Oh. I really don't want this wood. Should I get out my 7 16 <laughs> Look what that says, jacuzzi. That's the... When I was a kid, if we wanted jacuzzi, we had to... Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. It's kind of gross. All right, how do we get rid of this wood? Remember when Eddie Murphy used to be like ridiculously funny? There was a time. Wow, really? This is one of those deceptive bolts because it like broke loose really easily. But now it's busting my balls. It's a ball busting bolt. There you go. All right. Anyway, as far as the rug goes, I have a friend who might be out here today and he knows everything about rugs. So, he might be able to give me some information. My glove is between my legs, so I gotta do the weird glove walk. All right, should I cut the cord off of that thing just to be thorough? Yes, I should. Oh! I see the lady in her backyard. Hope she's not spying on me. Keeping tabs on what we're doing out here. My preference is always just like, you know, to not interact with the people. Anyway, that was a fun pile. I really would say it was great. And we never would have found that metal if we hadn't found that metal detector. So, you know, good thing we found that. I don't know if they have caution tape here so we don't dig through their pile or because they had their driveway just done. I think it's a driveway thing. Want the holes boccia? Wood bocci. Actually, we should probably look at this first to see if the wood balls are all cracked and splitted. Look at where we are, we're in the woods. We're gonna go hunt some deers after this. That's what people do in the woods, right? Oh, geez, that's nice. Perfect. Really glad I opened the box because it's gonna close just fine now. Get in. Stupid. All right, yeah. Should have taken it on faith. 
All right, what else do we have? A full bag of charcoal. Man, why do I want to take that? I'm not going to take it. I think these boots are in here. Ugh. Yep. I think those were their old boots. All right. Nothing in there. And here's some deer food that we can use to like lure the deers in. Beats rubbing yourself with deer pee and sitting up in a tree. Anyway, that was fun, I guess. I know better, but I'm bored. I can't believe I'm even doing this. Why, why am I doing this? It ain't brass. It don't even weigh nothing. Looks nice though. I'd eat a canapé if you served me it on that tray. I don't know what a canapé is though, but I'd probably eat it if it was on that tray. Look at this broken ass grandfather's clock. I feel like I should take the movement out of this. But I also feel like it's the cheapest grandfather clock I ever saw in my life. And taking the movement out is gonna be an all day project. So let's not do it. Wow. Look at that parliament. My dad used to smoke those. He quit in like the early 80s though. It was nice, you know, like both my parents quit smoking and then that was the end of that. So I didn't have to grow up in like a smoky household. I don't know, these things are okay looking. can never tell with this kind of stuff. Is that leg broken or is it just curved? Maybe I'll take a photo of that and text it to my buddy. Like what about this one right here? It's small. What about this little magazine rack? No. How about these things? No. I don't know. Somebody cut all the cords though. Wow, who cuts lamp cords? I guess I do sometimes, but not most of the time. Today's going just how I predicted in that we're not finding nothing. Oh, and that's not even brass. Nice little table set though. Having fun, but I mean, we got here at 11 a.m. It's almost four and this is what we got. I really want this lady's air conditioner, but I don't think I can have it. Too big, but I'll take her pipes. Thanks for the pipes, lady. What about this? No, nothing. Actually, I guess some of this is good enough metal. That could go in as number one. I'm gonna have to take two trips because I only got one hand. Did I show you? Did I show you guys this disgusting rug that I found? My friend got out a broom and swept it off for me. Isn't that nice? My other friend who's a rug genius said it's probably worth 40, 50 bucks. So I, I hate to say it, but that now qualifies as the best thing we found all day. The world's moldiest, most disgusting rug. So. I guess that's the way that goes. I 
knew there was another piece. See? Look at it hiding. Hiding like a like a snake in the grass. It's a weird little collection. A pipe. I'm gonna have to put this rug up front. Ooh, gross. Gross. Ooh, where do we put it? I don't know. Here, here's what we'll do. We'll fold it up so all the disgusting egg yolk is on the back. There you go. That's a little better. Now, the other thing that's in here, the bucket looks like it's made of birch bark and it's filled with birch logs and I can't get a grip on this battery. Jeez. Mm. I don't think it's that heavy of a battery. Anyway, as you can see, our scrap load hasn't changed much in the last, uh, wow. My friend gave me some scrap metal in that box and it's got address labels on it. It's like it's bad enough having address labels in the garbage piles. Now I got one in my car. Whatever shall I do? It's been an hour since the last clip and it's getting overcast out here. But, is this what I think it is? Oh my goodness, it sure is. It's a stool. It's a lot of Romex. That's nice. It's nice clean Romex too. All right, things are really heating up out here. Let's see if I can get the shot right. Here, I'll pull this and put it between my crotch and hold it tight. And then, oh, we can't get through all one of them. What did I just say? We can't get through all of them at once. That is a beautiful cord. Look at that cord. Makes me proud to own it. Do I want this little kid's bike? Eh. No, I don't. But I think I might take it anyhow. Because I ain't finding nothing today. So. Let's wedge it into the car. Reluctantly. Is that the name of the video? Let's wedge it into the car reluctantly. That sounds kind of uh, erotic. Things are kind of dismal today. Isn't that what I said would happen though? Here, is this copper? Yeah, that's copper. What do you know? Who has like one chunk of copper in their car? I mean in their, in their garbage. Usually they have at least two pieces of copper. Usually. Luckily, these people didn't buck the trend. They're very trendy people, you see. All right, any other hidden secrets before we leave? What's this thing made out of? Wow. That's a pretty heavy pipe. It's also, let's see how long it is. One, two, three, four, I don't know, 10 feet. What's this thing? Nothing. Anything else in here? No. All right, now now we're just looking desperate. Does this have a cord on it still? 
Oh my god. Look at that. Did you think it would have a cord? I didn't. Where's my cutter? There it is. Oh, good lord. Huh. Who's worse? Me for cutting the cord off of a vacuum that could probably easily be fixed? Or the homeowners for throwing it in the garbage in the first place? Probably both of us. What is this art? It's a... Uh, Oh, it's a Picasso. Check it out. That's awesome. The girls would turn the color of an avocado when Pablo Picasso would drive down the street in his Cadillac. So that was something. And, uh, they rarely ever called him any derogatory names either. Okay, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain and I don't feel like hooking up my little light on this thing. So this is gonna be our last, our last gasp. And this is a pile that I've driven by three times today and it's garbage, so. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating you guys out of the joy of a good pile. But let's see if this rusty thing is made out of copper or not. Just between you and me, I already know the answer to that. But here's your magnet. Yep, this, this copper, <laughs> copper hurricane lamp is uh, made out of steel. Anyway, uh, these people have some furniture that, oh, let's see. Anything in the desk drawers? Hey lady, want a screw? I, I offer that question only to my female viewers. Because they're more into hardware than men are. All right, can I get the roll top up with one hand? This is exciting. And, uh... Wow. Attack! Attack! No, nothing. All right. I'm sorry about all that. But yeah, this is what it's come to today. High ISO evening footage of nothing. That's how we're ending our video. Anywho. What we got was a bocce set, a Picasso print, or whatever that is. It's got... You be the judge. So we got an Italian theme going on. We got the rug, the metal detector that helped us out earlier, helped us find some of this metal that we found. Not the most spectacular load of metal, but you know, we got it. This was in, I couldn't really film at this place, so I found that though. And uh, this bikey bikerson that we don't really want. All right, let's get the Picasso out of the rain. And we got these magnetic, um, magnetic socket trays, those are fun. And those little things for climbing up telephone poles or icebergs. So yeah, um, I had fun. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys did. Maybe you didn't. Either way, if you hung in there this long, thanks for watching. And if you quit earlier, thanks for watching anyway, even though you'll never know that I said that. <laughs>